when you try to download any application from the internet and you try to see that in your browser it is being blocked by your antivirus simply our windows defender now this is because that that application is considered to be received or got from untrusted source now this happens because in the background there is a program which is called mark of the web for you to download this application you need to take a couple of steps so that this is downloaded onto your computer now in this video i'm going to be showing you how we can bypass our mark of the web simply by just changing our file format by now you may ask yourself a question what is mark of the web but before we start this video is strictly for educational purposes only all penetration testing shown in this video is performed under a controlled environment which is the virtual box on my machine you shouldn't be attempted to try this on live servers or machines without proper authorization now if we come back to mark of the web here we see that different adversaries are using this kind of trick to go on and deploy their malicious payload to our victim's machine when an application is being downloaded from the internet, it is going to be tagged with what we call a NTFS outer data stream, simply named as our zone identifier. Here, the zone identifier will be equating starting from 0 to 4, whereby the last two numbers, 3 and 4, the 3 will mean that this application was got from the internet, and the 4, it means the application was got from the untrusted source. Now we not only see these on the applications that we do download but we can even see them when we try to run some files like our Microsoft Office, Docs, PowerPoint and others. So when you execute any application and it is tagged with the mark of the web, this is going to be processed by our Windows Defender. It will bring up a smart screen that will go on and compare these files to see whether they are in a allowed list of the well-known executables. But for us as red teamers or penetration testers, they can just tweak up this application so that it can be downloaded to a computer and later this is going to be executed. So if we come here to our terminal, I'm going to first create up a payload. Of course, we are going to need this payload for our study case. So when you try to see here, I used MSF Venom with a minus P and I use this payload for a Windows 64. Here I used Elohost and I gave my IP which is my attacker's IP and the listening port of 444 with a file format of EXE and this one is going to be called payload.exe. So if I press enter, we can give it a few minutes. This payload is going to be created in this location. Now, you should also have your MSF console started here as our payload is being also developed. So, since our MSF console is already started, I can go on and set up our listener. Here with our MSF console, I'm going to say use our exploit mount handler. press center with our exploit mount handler we need to set up a payload we can say set payload now if you try to remember the command that we executed we used this payload so simply you can come to your command here and we copy this we can paste it here if you press enter our payload has been set we can set our port we can say set L port. So this is the port that we are going to be listening to. And our port is going to be 444. And we can also set our L host. So this is going to be our attacker's IP. So this one is going to be 192.168.43.102. So this is the IP I'm using for now. So we can even say show options so that we see that everything is set. So we do have our IP, we do have our port, our payload has been set. So I can simply say run and our listener will be set around here. So we have our payload which is this one. 
Now here it is the time to send this payload to our Victimis machine. In this case, I need to go on and set up my Python server. So I'm going to just set this server and a Python server is going to be started on port 80,000 in this location. I'm going to come here in my virtual box. I do have this location here. So I'm going to open up my browser and I need to download that payload, which is payload.exe. So here you'll be able to see that this is going to be stopped by our Windows Defender because of the mark of the web. But later we are going to go on and recraft this so that this can be downloaded on our Victimis machine. So if we come back here, we can just come and we type our IP plus the payload. Then later we see that this is going to be blocked. So if we come here to our Victimis machine, we provide our IP here. I'm going to say payload. Payload.exe. So if I press enter, we can come here to our server to see that this is taking place. We see we have the response here and the 200 OK is there. But when we look at the downloads, this one is going to be blocked by our server. So here you see our download is going to be started but this one is going to be blocked by our Windows Defender. If you try to see here, this one has been stopped. This is because of the mark of the web. So now here to bypass this, we are going to come to the location where our payload is. And this one is just called payload.exe. When you try to see it is this one. So what we need to do it is to change the file format. With a file format, we can give it an image file format, which is a .iso. And how can we change our exe or how can we put our .ex or payload.exe in an ISO format? So here you can say mk, mk ISO FS. Here use a minus or that is for output. You can provide the name you want your ISO to have perhaps payload.iso and provide the file that you want to put in that ISO. So if I press enter, and if we come back here and list our payload, going to just say enter, you see that we do have our ISO present here. Or if I cl clear this and just say ls, we do have a ISO format. So our payload was created to an ISO format. So when we come back here to our victims machine, we can also send that ISO and we download it here. So I'm going to turn to this format and here I just need to come and execute this. So if I run this with my access to the ISO, you see now this one, our download has started. We can look at our server and we see if the ISO is going to be downloaded. If you try to see here, we have a response of a 200 OK. And if we come here, you see that our payload in the ISO format is being downloaded to our machine. Now, once everything is done, when you try to go to properties, let's first come here to our file manager. Now, let's say this has finished to download. You can right click on it. It is here. You can right click on it and see its properties. On the bottom, you'll be able to see the security. But once you also open this inside, we shall have our payload.ex inside this image format. And also, if you check on these properties, you will see that we won't have the security on our payload.ex, which is inside this payload.iso. So all we need to do is to go on and execute the payload, which is inside our payload.iso, so that we can get back our reply in our MSF console. So here, since this is a well-known vulnerability, we need to come here and stop our Windows Defender. So I'm going to go on and turn off our real-time protection. Then if I execute that payload, we shall be able to receive back our reply in our Metasploit. So my machine is a bit slow. Now, after turning off our real-time protection, we can come here in our ISO format. 
Now, if we execute this payload, we shall be able to receive back our reply or our metaprinter in our Metasploit. So I'm going to come and execute this. Just press enter. And let us look at our Metasploit. Here we shall be able to receive back our response. Simply, this is a listener that we had set here. So all we have to do is to wait for some minutes. After a few seconds, you see that here we managed to receive our metaprinter session. And here I can just say this info so that you can see the machine that we were working on. This is a Windows 10 machine and it is a 64-bit machine plus the metaprinter that is started. It is a 64-bit since I had created a 64-bit payload. You see that in a few minutes we've managed to bypass the mark of the web. Remember, this video was for educational purposes only. Now, in case you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe on my channel. Turn on the notifications icon so that you don't miss any of the videos that I'll be uploading. Have a great day. Peace.